Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. We are now getting closer to the end of October of 2023, and given that the upcoming event by Comedy Central on South Park Studios, South Park joining the Panderverse, is just a couple of days away. We know that Disney is not happy about this. They're also very frustrated as it is with the Daily Wire and their release of their version of Snow White. Their teaser trailer actually that debuted on the 100th anniversary of Disney on October 16th. So they're dealing with a lot of studios and individuals pushing back against Disney and their efforts with the whole concept of swapping of race and gender and diverting from source material and also themselves taking jabs at Woke Hollywood. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now, one thing about Rachel Zegler is that we know that she is one of the top insufferable actresses in Hollywood. I think that she really honestly makes, and dare I say it, makes Brie Larson and Phoebe Waller-Bridge and others out there seem quite reasonable at this point after what she said about Andrew Burnap and how the prince was a stalker in the original Snow White 1937 film and it doesn't stop there. It has a lot to do with her rants on social media and how she full-on plans to keep on going with her statements once the SAG strike comes to an end. Now, what's been going on behind the scenes between both Disney and Comedy Central is actually quite dramatic. It's been an ongoing conflict ever since about two weeks ago, and there's a lot of things happening between Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Now, as we already previously discussed about how Disney prematurely took some legal action, they kick-started some legal meetings with the Comedy Central heads. They really did not want this Pandaverse episode to air, nor did they want more Pandaverse-related episodes to take jabs at Disney, and Comedy Central really kicked them to the curb and made a lot of sense because it's all parody. It is prote protected under fair use, essentially. However, interestingly enough, this is where matters get even more serious, is that with Disney currently dealing with the ongoing conflicts from Comedy Central with their Pandaverse event that takes direct jabs at Disney for race and gender swapping, one major development has to do with one parody that is already in the works right now immediately by both Trey Parker and Matt Stone that was brought up to the Comedy Central heads and made fully aware to the Disney heads as well shortly after, in the wake of Disney starting unnecessary legal meetings over at Comedy Central days ago, is that now, Parker and Stone have a full-fledged parody plan in the works that will poke fun at the concept of two Snow Whites releasing within the 2024 year, along with a cartoon version of Bob Iger at the forefront of their planned story with the return of Mr. Mouse, aka The Boss, which will be voiced by Trey Parker once again. The plan by Comedy Central is to essentially mock the ongoing Snow White drama that has been ongoing with Rachel Zegler. Parker and Stone's full-fledged plan is to also turn the Snow White drama into a full-on episode, mixed in with the fan response being a part of the story. Comedy Central made sure to warn Disney ahead of time in advance that they are planning on creating a parody to conflict, of course, the events of Bob Iger during his time at Disney and how he actually supports culture wars. This planned episode is also actually set to mock other characters like the Little Mermaid and even the current status of Star Wars and Marvel. It's unclear, however, if this will be yet another event or a regular traditional episode for Paramount+. Plus. Though the Pandaverse is now aimed to be a three-part event progressively, this episode planned will be separate from all of that, and that will be completely dedicated to Disney's failures throughout 2022 and 2023 for the recent Iger era after Trey Peck got fired. Disney reportedly is furious over this new development as Parker and Stone are famously known to hop on current events as fast as possible, including drama, in order to create endless material for their show. The plan to parody Rachel Zegler as Snow White and The Daily Wire, as of course portrayed for the new Snow White with Brett Cooper and their take on Snow White as well, is an ongoing process happening behind the scenes, and the drama between Disney and Comedy Central is so large and has been rattling throughout Disney as they are worried this is going to completely damage their plans with DEI and ESG with their new live action remakes currently in the works. Now guys, let me stop here quick before I get to the big conclusion here is that 
the fact that we have Parker and Stone really working on this ASAP behind closed doors to create a full-on parody of not just the two Snow Whites that are coming out and about in 2024, but about the ongoing Disney failures, like I said before, throughout 2022 and 2023 this year. So they're going to also poke a lot of fun at Marvel, at Star Wars, etc. This is something that is happening at Comedy Central. Disney is not happy about it and expect them to actually take more unnecessary steps to preventing this from happening at all. We know that Disney is not happy about that. Now, we know that Mr. Mouse is going to be a big focus in 2024. They really want to make a big comeback with that character uh, since we haven't seen him in a little bit of time, right? We know that he returned with that famous episode where, you know, he does come back and actually works hand in hand with Stan Marsh. Now they're going to be doing this in a more direct sense at Disney themselves. So let's continue, shall we? Now on top of that, South Park is already in the process and is known for taking jabs and poking fun at both sides and everything to create a balance and is something that this episode or untitled event will fully embrace. Now Bob Iger and the board are now currently trying to reason with the Comedy Central heads to not move forward with direct jabs at the company as they are beginning to blame their Pandaverse episode for creating a new trend of loss of subscribers on Disney Plus suddenly, reportedly in a recent meeting that they actually had with Comedy Central. So look, we know that Bob Iger is not happy about this. We know that the Disney board is not happy about this Pandaverse episode. It's not just taking jabs at Disney, it's also taking jabs at all of Hollywood. But this that we're talking about today is not related to Pandaverse. Trey, Trey Parker and Matt Stone are dedicating themselves to doing something very special to actually parody the fall of Disney and their ongoing failures, especially with Snow White, Rachel Zegler, etc., etc. So this is a big deal. I mean, this is kind of going back to like the earlier seasons where they really just hopped right on these, you know, drama pieces and everything happening. And I think that it's going to be something that will be a highlight. They know that since Pandaverse is going to have ratings throughout the roof, it's going to go skyrocketing. They want to keep on doubling down on taking jabs at Disney. South Park now sees this as a golden opportunity. Parker and Stone see this as a golden opportunity as well. And they are taking advantage of it. Now, we know that Bob Iger is going to be making terrible announcements on November 9th during the last earnings call. This is when his second phase of his cause containment plan is going to be fully announced to the general public, to the shareholders alike. And we talked about this about a month ago. It's going to include rate hikes for Disney Plus, as well as the removal of dozens of content that includes movies and shows on Disney Plus as a platform, just for starters in 2023. So overall, I would really love to hear what you all have to say about this ongoing situation behind closed doors. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys next time. Yeah.